Hey guys, Desolator Magic here. So everybody's wondering, was Yuya Watanabe actually cheating or did the judges overreact because, oh, our precious high profile tournament? Well, we'll never know unless we could see the sleeves. Oh, look, pictures. Now the best way I can summarize these up is I hope Watanabe gets Ebola and dies. What did I leave the last video on? 70-30 in favor of him uh, cheating? 105% and negative 5% is where I'm at right now. So these are uh, three of the four lands with fingernail marks indented on them, clearly, on purpose. You cannot do that by handling cards. You can only do that on purpose, unless it's the biggest coincidence in the history of the universe. And we've got another set of lands with uh, three folded corners, and they're folded upwards with a very particular crease in a very particular location. And then we've got all four Urza's Tower with a very slight to severe upward uh, bend. But that one's in the top right corner. This is exactly what I said would be absolutely incontrovertible. Yes, kick him out of the tournament without question is if it's like a fold or a fingernail mark on the corner and it's a different corner for every card. And that's exactly what this is. I mean, here's another picture of the bottom left upward uh, corner bend. I don't know how he thinks that he would get away with this. I mean, how was it a judge that caught him and not his opponent? Unless an opponent kind of on the down low reported him to a judge. I mean, they don't usually deck check you just for the fun of it. It's usually off of a report, but maybe a judge thought he saw something, you know, from a slight distance. Cause honestly, I could spot this from across the damn room. What an absolute piece of human garbage to think that he could get away with this and steal like up to $50,000 from the other players there by pulling off a stunt like this. This Right here, this picture, this is a lifetime ban. If it's not a lifetime ban, then fuck you, Wizards. So big thanks to Team Psy Games, uh, his sponsor for the tournament, who uh, just wanted to explain why they're throwing him under the bus, I guess. I don't know how they got a picture of him, but I also don't care. So I wish I had a gavel. I'm going to buy a gavel. Oh, $12. Okay, maybe I won't. Okay, I'm just going to bang down this Diet Verner's ginger ale. Guilty. I just tipped over the one next to it. So, fuck you, Yuya. I hope you have to pay all $400,000 that you've won in the last 10-ish years back. Because, uh, obviously, you were cheating the whole time. There's no way in hell this is the only time you were cheating. You're a terrible person. You deserve a lifetime ban. And I hope you're never able to show your face at a GP again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss these uh, awesome follow-ups. And I'll see you guys next video.